This is ABC 27 News at 11. Good evening, I'm Valerie Pritchett. I'm Alicia Richards, so glad you're with us, and we are joined by Anchor, <laughs> and this week in Pennsylvania, host Dennis Owens. Well, this is Super Bowl Tuesday, no question about it. The polls close, results, they are coming in, and we have results. We begin with the Republican race for governor. The AP, the Associated Press, has projected Doug Mastriano, state senator from Chambersburg, will be the nominee. He's been surging for about a month, snagged the endorsement of former President Donald Trump over the weekend. Mastriano will face Democrat and sitting PA Attorney General Josh Shapiro. He was unopposed in November's general election. Let's begin our live team coverage with Sonica Bargo, live at the Mastriano Victory Party in Chambersburg. Sonica. Dennis, Valerie, Alicia, there is still a lot of excitement here at Orchard's Restaurant in Chambersburg. Mastriano supporters cheered and chanted Doug for Gov as his victory was announced. In a victory speech, Mastriano thanked his supporters and God, and he criticized what he calls Democrats failed and dangerous policies, particularly pandemic restrictions. He says his campaign will continue to work hard and focus on restoring his freedom to Pennsylvanians. Mastriano has been the front runner for several weeks, despite efforts from Republican leadership to keep him from the nomination. I asked Mastriano about criticism that he will not be able to attract the moderate and independent voters he needs to win this fall. But he told me he feels it's Democrats' policies, specifically Governor Tom Wolf's, that have gone too far. If believing in the Constitution, up upholding the rule of law, upholding freedom is, is extreme, then so be it. But actually, the Democrat Party has gone so radical. We saw what Tom Wolf did to our state, cutting off, uh, the, sending the sick back in the homes under Levine, leaving the elderly to die alone. That's extreme. Shutting down most of the small business in the state, that's extreme. In a statement shortly after Mastriano's victory, Democratic nominee Josh Shapiro released a statement and he said calling Mastriano a dangerous extremist who wants to dictate how people live their lives. Mastriano and Shapiro will face off in the general election this November. Live in Chambersburg, Sonica Bargo, ABC 27 News. Thank you, Sonica. 